67 needed to convict the former president. NBC 10's Lauren Make has been following this trial all week for us and explains how it all came to an end. He is hereby acquitted. The Senate acquitting former President Donald Trump from the very Capitol that was the site of the attack at the heart of the impeachment trial. He named the date, he named the time, and he brought them here, and now he must pay the price. But despite some Republicans blaming the former president, no question, none, that President Trump is practically and morally responsible for provoking the events of the day. The Senate's top Republican voting not guilty, and the final count of 57 to 43 falling short of the two thirds needed to convict. The Trump defense team saying he did not incite insurrection or encourage violence, and later declaring victory. We slammed them down on the mat and won this case. Pennsylvania Republican Senator Pat Toomey was among seven Republicans to say former President Trump was guilty, telling reporters His betrayal of the Constitution and his oath of office. Conviction. About what you thought you would get? I was never the person doing the count. I spoke after the vote to Pennsylvania Congresswoman Madeline Dean, one of the House impeachment managers who argued the case with an emotional presentation earlier this week. I know that what we did is for my kids, it's for my grandchildren and for their children, uh, that forever history will remember this horrific insurrection and attack on the very capital of the United States. I asked her about what happens next. Would you be in favor of something like a censure for former President Trump, or do you think that uh, we need to move on? Uh, I, I don't think either of those things is the way to go. I think what we have to do is absorb the gravity of the case we just proved. Tonight, an impeachment case against President Donald Trump ending with acquittal for the second time. I'm Lauren Make. NBC 10 News. Just moments ago, President Joe Biden released a statement on the acquittal. It says in part, 57 senators, including a record seven Republicans, voted to find former President Trump guilty for inciting that deadly insurrection on our very democracy. The Senate vote followed the bipartisan vote to impeach him by the House of Representatives. While the final vote did not lead to a conviction, the substance of the charge is not in dispute.